Hey guys, welcome to Sunny Bermuda. In today's video, I'm gonna take this dormant golden colored Bermuda and turn it into a beautiful green color. It's first of January, I mean, first of February, excuse me. And grass has gone completely dormant. There's a few weeds in here because I don't treat this with herbicides because I don't want it getting into the pond down here and mess up the ecosystem. I have a lot of large bass in there. But yeah, we're gonna turn this to a pretty green color. Right down here on the corner of my property, I thought I'd show you. See what it looks like. It's not too bright. The sun's just above those trees there. You can see the nice golden color. It's really quiet and peaceful down here. Okay guys, let's head up to the garage, which is a good ways up there. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use to paint this turf here. It's a cool product. First time I've ever used it. Actually, this is the first time I've ever painted turf. So let's head on up. Okay guys, here we are in the garage. <clears throat> and this is the product I'm gonna use. It's a product called Endurant. This is the premium uh, version of it. B plus up here, see it up here. They make different kinds for different grass types. They sent me this for a Bermuda. And here, make sure you read the instructions. And it says here, the recommended rates for, is eight ounces of this product per gallon of water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my sprayers plus little two gallon sprayer here. It is battery powered to spray that down there. It's about 3,500 square feet. So like I said, I've never done this before. I'm not really sure how much it'll cover as far as square feet. So it says here, it's got the acreage uh, rates there. I could do the math and probably narrow it down. But I'm just gonna give this a shot. Make sure you shake it well. Okay, and then also I got some cleaner here. Came with it. I'm gonna do some turf pigment cleaner. That'll help you know, if I get it anywhere or and also clean up my sprayer here. And I'm gonna use my red T-Jet fan sprayer tip and I'll include links to that in the description and also for this, this here. All this should be in the description for you guys to follow and follow along. So let's get this mixed up, two gallons, and we'll get down there and spray. It's about way down there. It's about 500 feet from my garage. So we'll mix this up and carry it down. See you guys down there. Okay guys, I set the camera up so you guys can watch me make a mess here. I opened it and got a little on my hands and I was like, oh, it does stain pretty bad. I also put some cardboard underneath my workstation here just to catch it in case I goof up and make a bad spill. But this little cup, it measures eight, eight fluid ounces. As you can see here, put the board in here. already drifted on my workstation. Do you see that? Now do two. Guess I'm just going to put two gallons in here. I'm excited about this. I can't wait to see it. Look at that pretty, pretty green color. Look at it up against this white. See that green color? Hope you can see that. All right, now we'll take this, fill it up with water. Okay, guys, I forgot to press the record button. <laughs> so, but as you can see, it's a little greener. What I did was with my sprayer over there, I just went back and forth, tried to do it even. As you can see, I overlapped in some spots. I got a total of 3,500 square feet here. So I probably made about halfway down with it before I ran out. So I'm probably going to go fill it up again and go back on this area, go up and back this way. So that would be four trips if I did, probably did that two trips for that part and then two trips for this to do a double spray. So but I'm gonna do that. I really, I'm really liking the green color here. See if you can see the difference. Yeah, green, still brown. Okay guys, I made sure I hit the record button this time. I'm getting ready to put my second coat on this half here and I'm gonna go up and down, give me some exercise. So let's see how it looks.
Okay, here we go, guys. This is after the second coat. I went up and down the hill this time. Whew, got me a good workout. Hope you can see the difference here. You can still tell I did some overlapping. It's gonna take some experience, but not bad for a first shot. You can see the difference here. Pretty drastic difference. You see between the shadows and all. Ho hopefully we can see this line here. Oh, the dormant Bermuda here, and then where I painted here. But like I said, a little more experimenting with this. Should be able to dial it in pretty good. And I should have used my backpack sprayer, four gallons. So I could have done the, the whole section here. You know, a double coat with one fill up instead of having to run back and forth. But hey, I need the exercise. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed for, got a lot of good content coming up this year. But yeah, this looks pretty good for an amateur paint artist, turf paint artist, I guess. But yeah, went all the way down to the pond. Again, this is 3,500 square feet. I used right at 64 ounces of the turf paint, so half a gallon. Went all the way down, like I said, 3,500 square feet. And it is safe for the pond. It is, I guess, organic pigment based. <clears throat> so it shouldn't hurt the pond. So I hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys in the next one. Hope you have a great day.